Oh, hi. Today, we're gonna try to do a thing. What a foreign concept to this channel is, trying a thing. I feel like it's been a while since I've come completely unprepared to the sewing room without an actual plan. While I was sitting here lounging about watching Rachel Maxey's newest video, I was seeking some inspiration looking around the room. There are bigger projects I wanna work on that are more involved and it's definitely gonna take more than just an hour for me to film and put together and like be something helpful. Like I'm staring at the pile of fabric I want to use in my next project and I also have a project that I'm going to do for my niece, I have a project I'm going to do for a friend of mine, I have some other projects I'm going to do for me, and also I'm prepping for a Harry Potter market, so I have some cool shit to make for that that I want to show you all, but although they're way too time consuming, it's about five o'clock on a Friday, regular crowd shuffles in, and I just don't have time to show you any of those tonight, because if you're new around here and you haven't subscribed, ding ding ding, I, uh, I post videos every Wednesday afternoon and Saturday morning. In an effort to get a video up in time for Saturday morning, we're gonna do a pretty quick project because as I mentioned, I was lounging very luxuriously, waiting for inspiration to strike. And then I realized the skirt I'm wearing is something I've been meaning to fix for about a year. This is a gathered wool skirt with pockets. This is gonna be a mistake, but I wanna show you the full thing. It's my very favorite skirt I own and I made it from scratch and it's from material that was gonna end up in the trash. So like upcycling for the win. Thing is, I was on the way to a concert and I climbed over a guardrail and the very top of the metal guardrail cut the bottom of my skirt. A younger me would have attended a concert for any old band like if it was an opener of an opener for someone that I saw one time and was mildly interested a younger me would have just gone to see all of their shows anyway but now my ripe old age of 30 I think I was 29 at the time I think it was only my second concert of the year last year and I went to go see this band called fucked up and it was super great but yeah where we parked we had to climb over a guardrail to get over like a footbridge that went over a highway we had to walk I think about a mile and a half in pretty cold weather to the concert and uh, it, it was an absolute blast. Fucked Up puts on a great show. They're from Canada, they're a hardcore band. If you want to dabble in their music, I recommend the record David Comes to Life. It's a concept album and it's phenomenal. It's so good. Little side note here, I am kind of just now realizing that I didn't do much of a celebration video. I know I did a live stream. Cheersing all of you for us getting to 5,000 subscribers. So I have been thinking about sharing some concert stories or showing you my autograph collection from those concert days or talking about whatever topic and also doing a little giveaway just as a little thank you to everyone so if you have suggestions for something like that that you'd like to hear more about if there are things I mentioned that you're like oh I I wish she rambled for 20 minutes about that particular thing that she opened the door into a little bit but then shut right away let me know down below and we can talk about stuff okay anyways don't know that I've done a ton of mending things I've certainly repaired seams that have been broken I know I've done a couple videos repairing things but something like this it's not a big hole but I've seen a lot of Instagram videos that are almost super cuts of people mending holes in jeans and shit and they look perfect. And I tried to bring up some lists on how to professionally mend things, but we're just gonna shut this down and uh, do what we always do and fucking wing it. I mean, I'm honestly surprised this little hole hasn't frayed more because I've worn this skirt a lot, as mentioned one of my favorite ones. I also try to reserve it for colder weather because it is all wool and I can wear things like these plaid leggings underneath, which just feels so New Hampshire of me. But yeah, especially because this is like a woven fabric, I, I can't believe it hasn't frayed anymore. No one wants or needs to hear about my unrequited crushes from high school. Adult me would never go near the people I was pining over back then. Well, I threaded a needle. Cool. Look at me go. <laughs> I did that thing where I doubled up the thread, quadrupled up the thread. I have four strands going through here. We got a thing going. I also picked gray because this skirt is black and white and red all over. Is that a news? paper. Is that that joke? So I'm going to take my thread, loop it underneath so that the knot is going to be hidden inside the hole here. And then I think I'm just going to try to like whip stitch this close because every mending thing I saw involved what I think is a whip stitch. I don't know what else to call that. And this is probably going to leave like a little divot in the hemline here, but also this thread is sticking out and all frayed and shit. So like this won't be worse than what's going on. And if you were unfamiliar, this is little tiny Bert. It's getting close to dinner time, so he's getting a little restless. Where normally he just kind of sleeps in here. Little his little corgi friend. This toy is almost as big as he is, but he's obsessed with it. Okay, so yes, back to the thing. So I think I'm gonna do a round of stitching one way. 
and then kind of double back after because I feel like that works best for me reinforcing stuff. I'm not very good at doing teeny tiny stitches right next to each other, but if I do looser stitches one way and then I can kind of fill the gaps coming back, the dog is trying to break out of the sofa. Back to the very important shit I'm doing. Yeah, I think gray was the right choice with this. It seems to be a good neutral. I don't know. I could be making this worse, but I'm also full of very strong beer. I don't know if I'm actually making this look any better. I'm just hoping it'll extend the life of the skirt because I'm so worried about it fraying even more. People so casually throw shit away when there's the tiniest thing wrong with them, like a button's coming loose and they're like, not time to throw it in the garbage. And I just cannot abide to those things, especially because I put so much time into making this. I know most people don't make their own clothes, but I definitely think there's a lot of value in learning how to mend things. Certainly better than whatever garbage I'm doing right now. Even doing something like what I'm doing seems to scare people, and I I do understand not wanting to mess something up further, but if you're to the point you're gonna throw something out, just give it a shot. Just try to fix it on your own. There's nothing to be lost at that point. I think people just need to change gears on how they think about their clothing is all. I've rambled about this enough times. You all get it. If you're here, you probably have the same viewpoint as me on these kinds of things. So I'm preaching to the choir. I don't know. I don't think that looks too, too bad. I, I honestly can't decide if it's more or less obvious than it was before. I guess when things are sticking out, it draws more attention than if there's a little divot. Although the discoloration, like this isn't matching all three threads exactly. It's kind of a good neutral between the three. But I, I think... I think it's gonna be all right because this was scrap wool. I don't have any more of it to patch it with something that matches perfectly anyway. So I'm I'm not mad about this. I'm just gonna toss in a couple French knots at the end here, maybe on the back side. Nip off the excess and let me do the very dumb unsafe thing again and stand on the roller office chair and show you what it looks like. I don't know. Could you see it before? Can you see it now? Does it make a difference? I don't know. I don't hate it. I think it's a little less obvious than it was before. It just looks like there's a chunk missing. And I don't know that if I'm just standing around, like, can you see it from there? I'm very far away from the viewfinder and also have garbage eyes, so you will know better than me. Or I guess editing me will have a better idea. It's something that needed to get done just to hang on to the skirt even longer. I don't mind when there's patch holes on things, so this is gonna get a lot more wear. I would like to show you how I made this skirt, and I'm, I'm eyeballing the fabric right now that I want to make the skirt out of. I have so much fabric I want to make the skirt out of. P.S. If you want your own skirt that's the style minus the garter rail hole. Did you say garter rail? Good God, this is what happens when I have very strong beer. Guard rail hole. I want to make so many of these skirts because I think they're so pretty and they're so flattering. I am going to stop myself here because I just grabbed this spool of thread thinking it was my beer glass. Oh boy. And yeah, that's uh, that's definitely my cue to go. As I mentioned earlier, I post new videos twice a week. So Wednesday afternoons, Saturday mornings. If you want to subscribe, I'll put a little dude up here. I mentioned doing repair videos earlier. So here's one. No, we already did that corner over here. And if you for some reason feel compelled to check out my Patreon, or my coffee page. I actually just got a new Mailtime Perk patron, so hi Sarah, welcome to the fold. I am eyeballing the thing I put together for you, and I'm very excited to send that your way, as well as my other Mailtime Perk friends and my custom shit perk friend. All of your things are going out this weekend. It's, it's currently Friday. I sent half of it out today. The rest will be going out tomorrow. And as I mentioned before, if you have a topic you want me to ramble on about for a 5,000 subscribers celebration video, feel free to mention that kind of stuff. I'm very much open to suggestion. And yeah, I keep saying I'm gonna leave and then not leaving. So I will see you all back here with another video on Wednesday afternoon. Thank you so much for hanging out. He's barking at his own shadow.